Good evening. As you can see, we're nowhere close to being to the top of the mountain, but I don't think we could get to the top in the van. We'll settle for this. And this road, this is the one that goes out to uh, Highway 83, I think. It's nice and flat and it's real nice for a walk. So the pups and I had, we just walked down around that corner a ways and uh, thought we'd just do a walk and talk video here as we're walking along. We're headed back to the, excuse me, back to the van right now. Thought I'd talk about a couple things. Excuse me for the camera being jerky. It's me walking in sandals on rocky <laughs> road. Anyways, uh, if you're wondering what happened at the ghost town, we didn't stay very long. That's because we got up there. It was just getting dark. And I use a website called freecampsites.net. And it's really good. People leave reviews of places. They usually um, will let you know what kind of cell service is there, uh, what amenities are all available. And it has a link to give directions to where the uh, campsites are. And like it says, it's freecampsites.net. So it's, it's all different free campsites that are available. And it's usually a really good resource, and I use it a lot. And I use it for the Garnett Ghost Town Dispersed Camping. That's what it was listed as. Well, we got there, and where it was supposed to be available free camping, there's a sign that said no camping. <laughs> but I was tired. I drove a lot yesterday. I really don't like to drive more than two, three hours, and we were pretty much going from morning till night, and I got chores done in uh, Missoula. We got the laundry all done. Got some, uh, made a quick stop again in a grocery store, just pick up a couple little things, and... Uh, also made a pit stop at Cabela's. Can't go buy a Cabela's without stopping, right? There's a Cabela's in Missoula. So uh, we headed out, and like I said, that we went first to Gold Creek Road. And there was supposed to be a uh, campsite along there. Well, that turned out to be a bad location. It was actually like some it looked like a driveway into somebody's property and there was a gate and there was uh you know signs on the gate and all along that whole stretch of gold creek road it was all private property no trespassing signs the spot that was supposed to be available it was kind of like just a little spot that you could pull over right alongside that uh, what looked like a driveway to me. Anyways, that didn't work out, so we headed to the ghost town, and it was late. I decided to go ahead and stay there, and we just did a quick walk in the morning. I forgot my cell phone. It was on the charger, so I didn't get any photos of the ghost town and we just went down and we looked at the quick quick and dirty little beginnings of it and I didn't realize that it was so big but we wanted to get out of there before the staff got there because it's a fee area it's not much it's three three dollars for adults children are free but we didn't uh, we didn't want to get a problem going there so just came on out and uh, drove here and actually hit that Lake Inez campground first and it was full so that's when I called the ranger station and lady suggested this 
uh, Forest Road 667, and it's pretty nice. And you can see where we're at. I went ahead and put our uh, safety triangle out. Figured why not, just, you know, in case somebody swings around here late at night or something, I don't want them to get surprised by us being here. As you can see, though, we're off the used part of the road. This is just a, a kind of a stop that, or a, just a big open area right here where we're at. What are you eating there? Are you eating? Oh, no, you're just sniffing. Okay. And I set up the Luminet shade because uh, that sun in the afternoon does get pretty hot, especially when it's directly overhead. So this gives us a, you know, a semi-shaded area and really helps cut down the temperature. And we got the cots out and the chairs. And it's good. It's really working out well. Like I said, that was the road, that was Forest Road 720 to Highway 83 that we were walking down. Today there was two vehicles that came by. One came up the road, up 667, that I came up, and it went towards Camp Creek. And then that was like a Pathfinder or something. And then there was a pickup truck that came down from Camp Creek, and he actually stopped and asked me if 667 will take him down by Lake, uh, Lake Inez campground, and uh, I told him that it would. So he headed on down there. And that's the only two vehicles we've seen. So we'll take walks up that way and, you know, see what's up there, probably tomorrow. And what else? What's this say here? I didn't notice this sign. What does that say? Oh, Holland Lake. Okay, Holland Lake. We're good here. It's probably going to be pretty cool in the evenings, in the mornings, but then, you know, warm afternoons when the sun comes out because we do have pretty good sun. I would say this guy must have been probably looking at the hooves. And I didn't move anything here, but it looks like he had antlers right there. And somebody cut the antler off. I'm wondering if somebody shot him just for his rack and left him here. Which could be, you know, people do stuff like that. He's got a, there's just half of his lower jaw and his, uh, he's got all his teeth there. Pretty cool looking, huh? So, yeah, somebody might have, you know, somebody might have shot him for his rack and uh, just left him here, drug him out here to uh, cut the rack off and then, or just maybe even shot him real close. Maybe he was standing off the road and uh, left him here to be eaten by other animals. What you find up there, Co? Go, go. What's he doing? <laughs> She's sniffing around, checking stuff out. So is the Berkeley boy. Lots of smells, huh? So, okay. Uh, that's the story of the ghost town. We didn't get any photos. We didn't stay long. Uh, but like I said, I did not realize that it was so big. So I think we will need to make a, another trip back there at some point. But we're going to be out here probably for the next several years, <laughs> cruising around the country. Hopefully uh, the pups all hang in there with me. Uh, what else? I guess that's all for tonight. We're going to have a nice evening. The sun is... Just going down over the side there, but because of the trees all in here, we're already in the shade. So after about